What's the, do you guys change like the backdrop? You, you want me to change it for you right now? Hold on. <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, is that better? Yeah. You want some Hello Kitty up there too? Hold on. Put some Hello Kitty up there for it, cuz. Huh? Now, now she feels at home. You should have us outside the sloths and swap me. Is that what you really want? Yeah. Take her to the hood. <laughs> That's real easy. We can do that. We're on. We're inside the GG and I'm your host with the most <laughs> finding Nemo, aka Nemo Hose, and we're sitting here with the lovely. Lauren London, and we just chopping up some real game about life, love, and the pursuit of happiness, which is our careers. Mm -hmm. Believe that. And you know, if you don't know, she's a part of that TV show that's on the BET network, The Game. And uh, what character do you play? What's the name? Uh, Kira Whitaker. Mm, do you have a, a love interest? I do. The... <laughs> I was gonna come. Oh, well, let me come on the show and wreck the home or something. Be the the the, the, home the football wrecker. player that wrecked the home. And nigga play for the other team and looking at his girl the whole game. You know your girl look good. <laughs> Starting some shit on the show. So what's up with you on the big screen? We love seeing you on the big screen. You coming back? Yeah, I'm never gonna leave. I love the big screen. I have a movie coming out September 27th. Mm -hmm. Paula Patton, Derek Luke, Tay Diggs. You should have been in that. What's the name of it? Baggage Claim. I seen a, a, a trailer, I think. With Baggage Paula Claim. Patton? Yeah. Yeah. Who would be your... um? Dream actor to work with, not actress, actor. Hmm, that's a good one. I mean, of course Denzel, but like Brad Pitt. Or... Yeah, that's what I want to hear. Some real. Sh don't tell me the regular yeah. old black girl. Oh, <laughs> Denzel. But I love Denzel. I know, but I want you no, to say something like Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt or. Um... Cause see, Brad watching right now. See, that's what What's you that ain't Brad? knowing. Hello, hell. There you go. <laughs> Holla at the. See, you get it. The niggas here. Let me call him real quick. Hold on. Hey, Brad. What's up? Cause I know you busy. I ain't doing shit. But look, I'm sitting on my show with the lovely, yes, Double L. You looking at her? Yeah. Look at her. She would love to have an emotional scene with you. Actually, the whole movie with you. Just you and her. So I need you to get back in contact with her management and tell her about that movie that you got so y'all can make it happen. And Leonardo DiCaprio, too. Did you know I was in a, the movie that Denzel won his first Oscar? Yes. Actually, won the Oscar. It wasn't Oscar. the first Oscar. Was that Denzel's first? Yes, it was. Second. That was his first real Oscar. As no. Lead. He won. Oh, okay. <laughs> he won backup, whatever the fuck that was, for glory when he did that one tier. <laughs> but I'm talking about when the Academy said, it's Denzel. No. Oh, damn. We don't know if we want to give him this. Let's rewind that scene again. <laughs> oh, that's an awesome scene with Snoop. <sighs> that's the scene. All in favor of Denzel getting up? That Snoop scene does it. <laughs> I am in Denzel. And that's how he got his Oscar. Listen. Bullshit, you know I had a motherfucking mole in the room that told me that. That was like, man, it came down to that scene right there and that other scene that, uh. On Palmwood. Yeah, My exactly. auntie used to live on Palmwood. For real? Yeah. Damn. Your auntie from the hood. <laughs> so that neighborhood is real rough, tough, and dangerous. And what was so crazy, before I got the scene, right, they said, what you want to wear in the, uh, in the movie? I'm like, give me a blue sweatsuit. Let me get that Sean John, because, you know, Puffy, my nigga, rocked that blue Sean John with my blue chucks. They didn't tell me where it was. <laughs> we get to that motherfucker, it's 100,000 bloods on the corner. I'm in a wheelchair like that. Damn. <laughs> These motherfuckers are everywhere. What's up, blood? What up, blood? What up, Snoop Dogg, blood? What up, blood? I was hiding on me. I rolled away. <laughs> I went to that little wig shop. I said, hey, man, go find the OG from here and bring that nigga down here. They went and found the OGest nigga they could find. He rolled in the wheelchair down there to see me. <laughs> What's up, homie? Yeah, 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 for sure. Hey, which one of your little homies got the sack? Oh, they got it right there. Take this 300. I'm trying to get something from him. Oh, you a, you a bull nigga, Snoop Dogg. You a bull nigga, for sure. <laughs> oh, he was OG for real. Ooh. Got the shoot three, four days in a row. No harm, no foul. Got to know how to politic. I am a politician. Vote Snoop Dogg, 2013. I love gangster movies. I went to all of the, I went to the premiere to Men's Society. Mm. I went to the one to Boys in the Hood, Poetic Justice. I was at the rap 
for Poetic Justice, the rap party when they finished shooting the movie. That's when I met Tupac for the first time. Hmm. Me and that nigga met, and he uh, pulled out a blunt. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And he split that motherfucker and dumped out the middle. And I was breaking up the weed. He was like, let me get that. And he put it in that motherfucker. That was my first blunt on the Poetic Justice rap party. And then we went inside the party. Your first one ever? Ever. Really? That's awesome. Yep. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, my nigga. That Tupac gave you your... For real, though. Yeah, your boo oh, rolled yeah. my first blunt. Now I got a table full of these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's your boo. That's what you it told me. It is my boo. Hello. <laughs> Shit. I'm just speaking on what you told me. Natalia Franz, aquí estoy en Puerto Rico, donde hay mucho calor. ¿Sabes qué, qué, qué haces cuando hay mucho calor? Quites toda tu ropa y llegares a alguien que te quiere. Y que tienes mucho, mucho sexo, porque hay mucho calor. ¿Y sabes qué? Quieres que... How do you say sweat in Spanish? Um, Mucho sexo until you sweat. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Stormy. I mean, I was on probation. I stole a Snicker bar. I'm a grown ass man and stole a Snicker bar out of motherfucking store and got caught. How old were you? I was like 18. <laughs> but that's grown. Right. Then I lied and, and went to juvenile hall and had to have my homegirl come get me out of jail because I was like, I don't want to go to the county for huh, stealing a Snicker. <laughs> But they really gonna take you to jail for stealing the sneaker? I went to jail. I went to juvenile hall. For really? Because I told him I was 17. The nigga caught me and he held, he locked the store door. <gasps> to the you police tried to give it back? I'm like, like oh. here, take I'm it like, back. I'm like, here, man. <laughs> the nigga like, mm-mm, they on their way. <gasps> oh, they on no. their way. Just like some of the videos I watch on my show, that shit happened to me. Like, and it, oh, it's, <laughs> hey. Hey, I mean, I had to deal with it. I went and deal with it, but... Stupid shit you do in life. It is what it is. So you a L.A. girl. Yeah. Why do people think you from New York? I don't know. Do people think I'm from New York? Yes. People think I'm from Atlanta. Well, because you was in that movie. But they think that you from New York. They think you Dominican Republican. And they think you from Atlanta. No. Tell them where you from. I I'm don't... from Los Angeles, California. And I am black. Black and white. Simple, easy, straight to the point. Okay, there it is there. So she don't speak Spanish, so stop saying, Mommy, bo <laughs> deep, but I did that. And then that she don't know what the fuck y'all saying. You a real fan of West Coast Hip Hop? Mm-hmm. Name me other than Tupac and Snoop Dogg. Give me two or three of your favorites. Quick. Mm-hmm. Dad and Corrupt. Mm. You want it like you want it. How long? <laughs> you went straight with it, cause you cut me in the vein with my family members. <laughs> Ooh. You said besides. You right, but you did that. That's that's real West Coast. You mean you 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 went there. You couldn't have made that up. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to say. No. You know, a lot of motherfuckers just said, um, <laughs> Dr. Dre. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? <laughs> um, <laughs> too short. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not LA. I know. That's oh. what I'm saying. So you know what you own. You know what I'm talking about? You know what your shit is all about. I was very surprised when I found out Bone Thugs were not from Los Angeles, though. You know they are from Cleveland? No, because they had such like a West Coast swag. <coughs> they look? Yeah, that They used to always say me and one of them niggas looked alike. Crazy Bone? Crazy Bone. Yeah. <laughs> like, why y'all keep putting pictures of me and this nigga up side by side? But y'all do kind And I swear to God, look, but look, the nigga will wear the same hairstyles I was wearing. I'm like, wait a minute, who the fuck doing this nigga hair, man? <laughs> Hold on, man. We can't have the same motherfucking hairstyle. We had the same award show, the same hairstyle, <laughs> the same hairstyle. I'm like, Queen B, you gotta do my hair over again. Come on. Wait a minute. No. Yeah, I'm that's why I started rocking the, the perms and all that, the, the Shirley Temples. Right. See, everybody couldn't. How do you like doing these dreads now? I mean, it's different because, you know, they all together now. I like to really have my hair breathe, but, you know, it's all locked and loaded right now, so we're gonna let it do what it do. So if you want them to go way. They're gonna go all the way to the flow. Them. They're not gonna stop. They're gonna just roll. Did they have to cut some of your hair to dry them up? Nah, we just had to tie them all together. They was, you know, in the beginning they was, you know, my hair was curly going this way, that way. So we had to get them to, we had to train them, right. to teach them to hang out with each other. Right. You know, you stay with him. <laughs> you stay over here. I know you want to go over there and holler at her, but get back over there and <laughs> stay in your lane. But see, hair has a mind of its own. Right. And that's why a lot of people got bad hair. Oh, man. There's a difference between good hair and bad hair. If your hair is bad, it's going to get badder if you don't take care of it. 
That's why y'all got bad hair. A lot of y'all done went bald. Because y'all hair just don't listen. It's hard hair. You don't miss it? Nah, because I always can go back to YouTube and watch footage when my shit was fly as a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> what up, though? This big Snoop Dogg, a.k.a. Snoop Lion, a.k.a. Nemo Hoes. And I want y'all to subscribe right here. Hit that button right there to subscribe. And if you want to check out the old videos like that one right there, that one right there, that one right there, that one right there. Or maybe that one, that one, that one, or that one. Check them out over and over again. GGA coming at you. And be sure to subscribe right there. So we drove on by, hit that left, push on the pedal, feel it click, feel like there's no gas in it. Oscar Freddy, hurry quick, jump in the bag and push the whip. Hate this feeling, hate this moment. Crucifix my pockets, holy now, everybody know it. Pushing this whip down the street, only show it. Don't you hate that moment in your life when you tryna do good and everything that could go bad around you did so like it should. Dear Lord, I overheard adversity will make Church, preach, tabernacle.